Hi guys, it's a little bit more on this circuit that I showed yesterday. Um, what I have done here, I'll run through it piece by piece so we know what's going on. Um, this here is our power supply and I'm coming off the positive input of the power supply. I'm going through this meter which is set on the milliamp scale coming out of the meter and I'm going into the positive side of the circuit. The negative side I've soldered the wire on to our ground and that goes into the input of the negative side of the circuit. So um, all the current passing from here has to go through this meter before it reaches the circuit. I've double checked this meter by using a 1 ohm resistor and the scope and the meter is reading within 70 microamps of what the scope is telling me using Ohm's law, so very accurate. We are only pulsing the circuit at about 530 hertz and I have the trigger voltage set at about 4 volts. Okay, that's the input side of the circuit. Um, this is the circuit itself. The output side of the circuit are these two pins down here. I have added a 2200 microfarad cap as well as the 100 microfarad cap which is there. I'm pretty sure they are 100 microfarads. 150, sorry. Um, it was a little too small to smooth out all the pulses um, that the load was uh, drawing. This cap here, as you will see in the scope, has smoothed that right out. So the DC current which will be going through this meter, um, the positive comes off the circuit, goes to this pin here, um, and the LED is hooked on the negative side in this pin here, and our current meter is hooked from here to here. Um, as you can see, this will be reading out output current, uh, which is going to this orange LED. I've used an orange one because they draw a lot more current, and the more current we pull off the back side of the circuit, the more efficient it becomes. The scope is hooked across the cap, um, correct polarity, so we'll be able to see the voltage in that cap using the scope and we'll also be able to see that it is a straight DC without any pulses in it. I have the volt division set at 2, so it's 2 volts per division um, and our time division doesn't really matter because we're looking at a pure DC current. But just for argument's sake I have that set on 0.5 milliseconds. This meter here will be reading the voltage and that's the input voltage of the circuit. I have the positive side of this hooked up to the positive input of the circuit and the negative side is hooked up to the negative side of our smoothing cap. Now this voltage that will be displayed on here has to have the 0.5 volt loss from this diode added to it so it will be this voltage plus 0.5 volts which is the voltage drop across these diodes that I use. Um, so that's pretty much well the circuit. Like I said we have our power supply as you would a pulse width modulator or um, bench top power supply whatever and we are reading the amps drawn from that power supply going into the circuit which once again of course is this meter here. So um, a bit more about the circuit. Our positive comes in, goes to the positive rail of the LEDs and also goes to one input of our bifilar Tesla pancake coil. The negative side comes in, goes across the negative rail of the LEDs and is also hooked to the other input of the coil. The smoothing voltage 
um, cap that is just so we can see what the peak voltage is that is going into the system has this diode on it so the cap cannot be drawn down voltage can only go in and not come out and that is why we have this diode here the second diode which is hiding on under here on the output side comes off the positive rail of the LEDs and goes into the negative side of the cap our output cap um, and that is to collect the back spike which is reversed in direction when this coil collapses so we'll turn our meters on now and I will show you what we have you will see that this LED down here the orange one will take a bit to build up because we have to build the current up in the cap so we'll go ahead and turn it on okay so on our input um, power supply we have our 2.92 or 94 it is building up a little bit it is actually still filling up that cap so we can see our milliamp output is slowly going up so that will settle and as you can see that orange LED is quite bright and the orange ones do use um, a fair bit of current to get them up in voltage we can see by the scope Excuse me, if I push our zero button that we are just over the first division, so we're about 2.1 volts. And as you can see, there is no ripples across that. It is a very smooth line, um, indicating a very smooth DC output. So the input on our circuit at the moment is 3.23 milliamps and that is at 4.12 volts plus the 0.5 volts that we will be losing across the diode in the circuit so it would be 4.62 volts at 3.27 milliamps input Our output at the moment like I said is just above 2 volts once again here's our zero line we are just over the first line and we are set on 2 volts per division so even if we were to say 2 volts it is actually about 2.2 using the meter um, and it is currently drawing 15 milliamps at 2 volts to run that LED at 2.5 volts that LED pulls about 21 milliamps so that is uh, spot on and of course it is because the output is not pulsed it is very smooth so that is what I have at the moment that is our input to the circuit 3.33 milliamps at 4.62 volts it's once again the 4.1 plus the 0.5 volt loss across the diode and our output is 15 milliamps at just above 2 volts there is one other thing we need to take into account if that looks pretty fantastic in itself and that is those three LEDs right there that are going flat stick um, that is also part of the circuit that this um, input is feeding like I said I have checked that meter um, the accuracy that meter is reading using a 1 ohm resistor instead of the meter and putting the scope across that resistor measuring the voltage across that resistor and calculating the voltage on the input and what that meter says it is spot on within 70 microamps so that is what I have and to be honest I don't really know why I'm having it 
I may be making a mistake somewhere but I've checked the input um, using meters and resistors with the scope and using Ohm's law that meter is near dead spot on to the input. In the next uh, video I will indeed remove this meter put the resistor back in and show you on the scope along with these outputs and a voltage meter across there which we could actually do quite quickly now I'll remove the in meter from the input voltage I will clip it onto our output voltage That is the wrong one. We should be going onto the negative rail. It's getting a bit messy in here. And then the positive rail. And that is the voltage on our cap 2.127 volts, which is identical to what the meter or the scope is showing us, as you can see. So there you have it, I'm only measuring the output across that LED which is 14.9796 milliamps at 2.127 volts confirmed by the scope. Uh, the input is of course our 3.39 milliamps which I've also confirmed using Ohm's law, the resistor and the scope at the 4.61 volts uh, we showed on this meter before I disconnected it. So there you have it. Um, there's one other interesting thing um, you will see in my next video when I replace this meter with a 1 ohm resistor and um, there's been talk of a negative resistance and you'll see that firsthand in my next video. Um, and one other trippy thing I will show is I'm going to replace the input wire from the battery to the unit with a 1 ohm resistor and show you the scope shot across that as well. But for now that is what I have. I would love your input on this. Um, and there are the results we have so far. Alrighty, it's cheers for me and uh, we'll see you soon.